Lamentations chapter 2. How has the Lord covered the daughter of Zion with a cloud in his anger, and cast down from heaven to the earth the beauty of Israel, and remembered not his footstool in the day of his anger? The Lord has swallowed up all the habitations of Jacob, and has not pitied. He has thrown down his in his wrath the strongholds of the daughter of Judah. He has brought them down to the ground. He has polluted the kingdom and the princes thereof. He has cut off in his fierce anger all the horn of Israel. He has drawn back his right hand from before the enemy, and he burned against Jacob like a flaming fire, which devours round about. He has bent his bow like an enemy. He stood with his right hand as an adversary and slew all that were pleasant to the eye in the tabernacle of the daughter of Zion. He poured out his fury like fire. The Lord was an enemy. He has swallowed up Israel. He has swallowed up all its places. He has destroyed its strongholds and has increased in the daughter of Judah. Mourning and lamentation. And he has violently taken away his tabernacle as if it were of a garden. He has destroyed his places of the assembly. The Lord has caused the solemn feasts and Sabbaths to be forgotten in Zion, and has despised in the indignation of his anger the king and the priest. The Lord has cast off his altar, he has abhorred his sanctuary, he has given up into the hand of the enemy the walls of her places. They have made a noise in the house of the Lord, as in the day of a solemn feast. The Lord has pursued to destroy, uh, sorry, the Lord has purposed to destroy the wall of the daughter of Zion. He has stretched out a line. He has not withdrawn his hand from destroying. Therefore he made the rampart and the wall to lament. They languished together. Her gates are sunk into the ground. He has destroyed and broken her bars. Her king and her princes are among the Gentiles. The law is no more. Her prophets also find no vision from the Lord. The elders of the daughter of Zion sit upon the ground and keep silence. They have cast up dust upon their heads. They have girded themselves with sackcloth. The virgins of Jerusalem hang down their heads to the ground. My eyes do fail with tears. My bowels are troubled. My liver is poured upon the earth for the destruction of the daughter of my people because the children and the sucklings swoon in the streets of the city. They say to their mothers, Where is corn and wine? When they swooned as the wounded in the streets of the city, when their soul was poured out into their mother's bosom, what thing shall I take to witness for you? What thing shall I liken to you, O daughter of Jerusalem? What shall I equal to you that I may comfort you, O virgin daughter of Zion? For your breach is great like the sea. Who can heal you? Your prophets have seen vain and foolish things for you, and they have not discovered your iniquity, to turn away your captivity, but have seen for your, you false burdens and causes of banishment. All that pass by clap their hands at you. They hiss and wag their head at the daughter of Jerusalem, saying, Is this the city that men call the perfection of beauty, the joy of the whole earth? All your enemies have opened their mouth against you. They hiss and gnash their teeth. They say, We have swallowed her up. Certainly, this is the day that we looked for. We have found, we have seen it. The Lord has done that which he had devised. He has fulfilled his word that he had commanded in the days of old. He has thrown down and has not pitied, and he has caused your enemy to rejoice over you. He has set up the horn of your adversaries. Their heart cried to the Lord, O wall of the daughter of Zion, let tears run down like a river day and night. Give yourself no rest. Let not the apple of your eye cease. Arise, cry out in the night, in the beginning of the watches. Pour out your heart like water before the face of the Lord. Lift up your hands toward him for the life of your young children that faint for hunger in the top of every street. 
Behold, O Lord, and consider to whom you have done this. Shall the women eat their fruit and children of a span long? Shall the priest and the prophet be slain in the sanctuary of the Lord? The young and the old lie on the ground in the streets. My virgins and my young men are fallen by the sword. You have slain them in the day of your anger. You have killed and not pitied. You have called as in a solemn day. My terror is round about, so that in the day of the Lord's anger, none escaped nor remained. Those that I have swaddled and brought up has my enemy consumed.